me practice for the penultimate round of Thundersport GP1. Uh, we had a good time out last time at Angle, we'll see where we won one, but uh, I think this weekend's going to be really, uh, really fast, really challenging. I think I'll be happy with the top six, to be honest, so we'll see how we go. Um, usual rabble here of GP1, plus we've got John Ingram uh, and a few other tasty riders, and also in uh, Classic Superbike we've got Terry Ryan has come along to uh, race his OW01, so that'll be a, a must watch, that one. You know, I've been working hard on my bike uh, since April. See, ain't you, mate? What have you, what have you done to it? I've, uh, right, so what I've done, I've repaired this, the yeah. end pan. Yeah. Um, Bruce Prime Factors gave me a sleeve. Yeah. So that's the old end cap. End cap's either end, and then I just um, just re sleeved it basically. New tailpipe, footrest hanger, footrest, uh, new handlebar, new throttle, new brake lever, new fairing screen, new bearing bracket, um, clutch lever, um, and I think that's about it, it's mods and sods, fairing brackets, yeah, that's it. And we can see on the screen now, so you've moved the race number down, which is good. Hello Dave. Hello Mum, again. the uh, halfway point of the weekend it's Saturday afternoon done my uh, qualifying and my race today qualified 12th and uh, finished 6th in the race so a bit bad qualifying gave myself a lot to do in the race and uh, a little bit off the pace really I'm about second slower than I was last year uh, doing 35 and the, the two leaders doing mid 32 so I don't think it's my weekend like it was at Anglesey but it's still amazing to ride my bike around here and uh, the thing that's made me most chuffed this weekend is seeing uh, Terry Reimer races OW01 and he's won the two races I've seen today just looks easy, effortless I mean that guy is a uh, former multiple world endurance champion he rode 500 Grand Prix with Lucky Sky Suzuki in 96 when BT was injured he's won the first Brit to win a WSB race in Canada I think or New Zealand, one of the two pretty far away aren't they um, but absolute class act and of course he's now team manager for JG Speedfit Kawasaki and uh, he's got those boys winning as well so. winner from pole position tonight is never made before first time on the sport GB You had a bit of a big, big old surprise, didn't you? Uh, uh, yeah, from, from what I'm told, I don't really, I don't remember it. I remember the night before to, I think the Wednesday afterwards. Yeah, and what did you do to yourself? Uh, I fractured a T5 in my back, did something to my lung, I think they call it a bleb on my lung, uh, broke my wrist, thumb, uh, and had a bleed on my brain as well. Yeah. So you packed the bikes up now? Yeah, yeah, I think it's for the best of it. Yeah, looking at it, I don't really want to gamble on another bleed on the brain. Concentrating on the day job. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's the idea. Yeah, it's a bit Jamie safer. Jamie takes some fantastic pictures of BSB, uh, MotoGP, does uh, magazine work for MCN. He's here today to to uh, follow Terry Reimer, who's also racing this weekend. Some other bits and bobs. So a bit safer at this end of the camera. Yeah, just a bit, yeah, a bit safer on this side. Yeah. Then in the other end, yeah. <laughs> Sunday race day, um, warm up's wet as you can see. So uh, I'm not going to go out in it because I think it's going to be dry for the rest of the day. So I don't want to risk it. But uh, just looking at the results from yesterday. Um, the first two are away with it. The Thundersport Aliens, John Ingram and Josh Day. The rest of us from third place down to about 15th are all more or less within the same second. So it's really, really competitive here. So this is the end of the meeting, it's uh, Sunday afternoon, beautiful day now. Uh, earlier on uh, in the first race, uh, crashed out on the first lap, going into the foggy S's on the left part, tipped in as I got on the throttle. The data shows I was on 70% throttle, uh, 
the front just went and I just uh, slid through the S's on my bum. Luckily everyone avoided me, so thanks to everyone for that. Um, uh, bike was kind of okay, but uh, all the sticky out bits were broken, fairings broken, but uh, Bob, Dave Lockhart and Fabrice all rallied round and, and got it together for the last race, so huge thanks to them. Uh, and also for people helping us out, making sure we're okay, but I'm fine. Um, then uh, in race two, just before we we're going to go out, it's glorious sunshine and then the heavens opened. I basically kind of run out of time to put wets on and uh, missed the race. So I finished uh, this weekend just uh, crashing out, which uh, shows how up and down racing is because Angle C was brilliant, wasn't it? Um, but a few of the other guys in the race, uh, in the wet race, didn't fare too well either. So hope everyone's okay. Uh, hope everyone gets their bikes sorted out. Uh, and we've got one round left in Cadwell. Not sure if we're going to be doing that or not. Um, but in the meantime, yeah, thanks to everybody. The bike's been amazing to ride. Thanks to Prime Factors, thanks to Pirelli. And uh, going to go home, lick our wounds, and uh, hopefully get out again at some point. I'm just being stupid, really. I can't say. <laughs>